Good morning. I'm Denise. And I'm Ricky. And we are Soaring Together. And we are making uh, videos of our adventures for our family and friends as we travel uh, the country. to keep you up to date and let you know where we are, where we've been, and what we've been doing. It's very exciting. We, um, as you all um, have seen our other videos, we were in Albuquerque for a month visiting our son, and then from there we came on to Utah. So on a Monday we left Albuquerque and we stopped over in Cortez, Colorado at a KOA and spent the night. And then on Tuesday morning, we arrived here in Moab, and we're staying at the Portal RV Resort. Very nice uh, resort. It's a small resort, uh, very close to all of the national parks that we wanted to tour. So um, the first day when we got here, we uh, just rode in the truck up to the Arches National Park, and just spur of the moment with only one bottle of water we took uh, or walked along one of the trails and took a few pictures and a um, few hundred pictures, few hundred pictures. <laughs> Then on Wednesday, we rode our Harleys along Highway 28, uh, along the upper Colorado River. River Ranch and had a very good lunch there. Uh, we were dining out uh, on the back patio overlooking the river. Very beautiful uh, and had a very good lunch. I had um, a brisket sandwich and Ricky had taco trout. We enjoyed trout uh, tacos. Just walking around the ranch. They had horses and um, we even talked to one of the horse uh, ranch helpers there, and um, just a very good afternoon. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go, spend my coin for sure. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. 
troubles from there Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights look at fire And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I can be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive And then on Wednesday it's evening just what I do when I'm We took the epic 4x4 adventure side by side with a tour guide and Ricky drove us on the Fins and Things and the Hell's Revenge ride up through the mountains, the salt valleys, the salt hills, the petrified salt hills, and I'll let you elaborate on that. Well, it was an awesome thing. We uh, got to do something that maybe been on a bucket list. I uh, never thought about actually doing it here, but Moab, as most people know, is famous for that, and it's very prominent around here, and um, well, people do it. But uh, if you hadn't done it, I encourage you to do it if you like things like that, because uh, it's an experience. For me, like none I'd ever had. Coming from Tennessee, there's definitely nothing there like here. Uh, we had a real good tour guide, Lisa. Yes. And we had walkie-talkies, so in the video you can hear as she was instructing the drivers what they needed to do. And um, one thing that was the most exciting for me was when we would get in the sand areas she said the sand was very deep so you can't go slow you've got to go faster you'll get stuck in the sand so here we go around all the sand curves and that was real exciting uh, going up those really narrow places up those large rocks was very scary for me in fact one time i looked over and kind of got sick at my stomach
your strength and show me your weakness We're in this together now We're in this together now Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now Yeah, we're in this together now It's the next day Normally I walk every morning and I try to try to keep this old physical body in somewhat shape, but it's more important to have a spiritual body. But as I walk, I, if she's not walking with me, I either listen to music or sermon. This morning I was listening to a sermon by Robert Morris about dominion. Very powerful in what Jesus Christ has given us. As I was walking back and praying, and uh, where we're staying at is called the portal. And I just begin to think about scripture and what it said about that. And I'd like to read the definition of portal as my phone goes off. One of these days I want to turn that off. A doorway, gateway, or other entrance, especially a large and imposing one. First Corinthians chapter 15. The writer says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of the eye, at the Last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible one must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So in this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? Excuse me. O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's another passage of Scripture that says that it's appointed unto man once to die, and after death, the judgment. As I was there again, was walking and thinking uh, actually about a brother that we've known for many years that's passed through the portal of death, which I believe now, according to the word of God, is in the presence of the Lord, to be absent from the body as a believer is to be with the Lord. So as I saw the big green side, and it's called the portal, it also says uh, Moab's destination. There is a destination that we're all going to go to. It's either life with the Lord or death eternally departed from him and we make a choice Jesus Christ done for us over 2,000 years ago what we could not do for ourselves he paid the penalty of sin and death the Bible says that no man come to the Father except through the Son the Lord Jesus Christ so Jesus if we can use and actually the word describes him as the doorway or the gateway he is the only way that we can have eternal life. We have to accept the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and that he is the true and the living Son of God. So if you haven't done that, I encourage you to do so. And as Denise was describing, we had a wonderful dinner at the Soil Ranch sitting right along the river. And I had got done eating, actually put my feet up on the walkway there. And the lady walked by, she said, uh, y'all look very relaxed. And uh, I'm thankful for that. But well, we left there and was walking out and run into uh, a young lady that was a wrangler there. And we walked along and talked with her. And uh, in a few moments' time, you can learn a lot about somebody if you listen. Now, most people say I do a lot of talking, but I do listen. Uh, and uh, she began to share some experiences in life and got her own personal horse out and was standing there talking. But just prior to that, uh, my wife had got a text from our daughter saying that it was possible that our oldest grandson has Crohn's. And uh, as we were standing there talking, before we said anything about it, uh, she described that she had Crohn's 
And I don't think it's ironic because there again, we had just found out that it's possible uh, that our grandson Parker uh, has it. And she began to describe how her life was and that, you know, she was living with it and all that. Uh, there again, our Parker has learned how to deal with diabetes, uh, stage one, just recently. That all being said, I uh, felt very prompted to pray. Actually, her name was Nikki. With Nikki, I said, ask her, I said, can I pray with you? So I don't believe I meet anybody by accident, especially to talk to them in the conversation that we had. So we prayed with her, and uh, we uh, actually rode off. But saying all of that, there is a portal in, uh, in life. You know, it can be destinations like here. But into eternal life, it's death. Uh, of the natural body, but it's like to the spiritual body. So I'm going to encourage you today, uh, I believe, as I've said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord if we know the Lord as our personal Savior and Lord. But Jesus Christ is a bull. And if you don't know him, you don't have eternal life. It's, to me, very plain and simple. But he's given us dominion. He's given us power. He's given us authority. When we pray, the portal that we have to the King of Glory through the Holy Spirit, the power of God to manifest, to change people's lives, to be healed, to be delivered, to be set free. So I just want to encourage you today. We're sitting in a magnificent place on the earth. But there is a place that there is no description for. I have not seen, nor you heard, nor has been recorded. We are not trying to take that out of context, but there is a place where no more sorrow, no more death, no more sin, no more sickness, no more pain, no more tears. A place eternal with the Lord forever. So I encourage you, if you don't know him, to accept him as Jesus Christ and Lord. And until next time, we are soaring together. <laughs>